Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Golden Girl 7 and before I get into this box, don't forget to hit that like button down below, and subscribe to see more amazing unboxing content. Now this is circa 1955, they are a candle company, they're called Lux Elum, and I will leave their website down below, but they have Disney um, items and merchandise that you can buy, and they also have Harry Potter themed merchandise and items that you could buy. Now they will all be related in some way to candles or smells or scents or something like this, but this is the experience box. It costs around $60 a month. Um, you don't have to subscribe every month. You could, it's actually, I don't even think you, you can subscribe. You can subscribe, but what I do is I buy it um, every month that I want to get it. So whether you subscribe or whether you just do one-time purchases, this box is $60. Um, it comes with two candles, and usually it comes with a lot of fun items related to whatever the box is themed around. So this is what this was their Halloween box. So their Halloween box was themed around villains. This came out in October. It's just been sitting in my pile of boxes and I've just been slowly trying to get every of the every one of the boxes filmed. So this was the one that was themed to villains. And so we have the the Queen of Hearts there. I don't know if you could really tell. And then we have Jafar, and we have oh, the guy from Princess and the Frog. You have to forgive me. I, I know it starts with an F, I think. I never actually saw Princess and the Frog, but I know he's the bad guy. He, like, does the voodoo spells and stuff. And then we have my favorite. Excuse the writing on there, but my, I don't know if you could tell. There's Scar, and we have Yzma, and then we have Ursula with her two um, helpers, Flotsam and Jetsam. So, and then of course we have the evil queen from Snow White who is featured. And I tried to do a makeup a little bit. I don't know if you could tell the red with the green just kind of give an ode to our nice evil queen there. So let's go ahead and get in. Oh, my box opener fell on the floor, excuse me, to grab it. And this is a small family-based business. And I love supporting family-based businesses. And um, I think especially right now with the pandemic and everything going around, it's really important to uh, support small businesses because I feel like they're struggling the most with shipping and everything. They said if you do order for them right now, they're... Um, Shipping time is usually two and a half weeks, so just kind of give them a grace period for that. So this one says, it's good to be bad. That's a cool sticker with our nice regal purple there. A villainous purple, if you will. All right. And then inside, she has it themed so nicely. So she has a nice card with my name on it. And I love the personalized touch that she does. She is such a wonderful, caring, loving person. And she puts so much detail into every single box that she makes. And you guys, if you guys don't know me, you will know now that I love Nightmare Before Christmas. It is like one of my favorite movies. And this is Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. So of course we have to open that one first, you guys. Although I should read the card. Look at me. Those good ones on there. We have the the stepmother from uh we have the stepmother from Cinderella. And this is what it looks like. It says villains take over. We've heard of circa nineteen fifty five and looked from a distance. Now we want to give Nicole some assistance. So Nicole's the owner of this and she does all these boxes and stuff. It's time we have a box of our own. We're kicking her off the experienced throne. As the spooky season draws near, remember us, the villains who cause fear. Being a hero is overrated a tad. It's good to be bad. And then it's signed by all the villains. Look at the attention to detail, you guys. So we have Queen of Hearts. We have Captain Hook at the bottom here. We have the Evil Queen, the Queen, and Dr. Foot. 
Facilier, Dr. Facilier. See, I couldn't remember his name, but that's what it is. Uh, Maleficent, Lady Tremaine, Gaston, and Jafar. Very cool. So this will be our candle, I believe. And look, it's wrapped up all nicely. But like I said, we, we have to open this first because it's got Oogie Boogie on it. And it's got the a green burlap, kind of like because Oogie Go Boogie is made out of burlap. And all the bugs crawl inside him. Oh, you guys, it's candy. That is so appropriate. Of course it's candy because this was a Halloween themed box. Oh my God. Not okay. <laughs> okay. If you guys seen him Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie Boogie has bugs that crawl in him. Um. This, this just fell out, <laughs> and I hate, hate cockroaches. They, like, that's the one thing I cannot deal with. Okay, I'm not sticking my hand in here anymore. That was horrible. Okay, you got me. Oh, there's a cute little spider. Like, spiders I can do. There's little bugs and stuff. I can't do cockroaches. I don't know what it is. I just can't. They gross me out. Ooh. Okay, so... <laughs> Way to kick off the box. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into our candle. I don't even want to open this because it's so beautifully wrapped, you guys. I love it. We have Maleficent on here. Can you see her? Okay. I can't believe a cockroach fell out of there. I should have known better, too, because Oogie Boogie has bugs inside of him. Oh, bad attention. <laughs> I don't know where my opener went. There we go. Oh, this, so there's two candles in here. So one of them is off with their heads. And there's no artificial colors or dyes. It's all natural. It's uh, It smells apple to me. That one smells like apple. Let me see. There's a scent profile on here. There should be. Yes, at the bottom. It says off with their heads. Is this the sorry, I'm trying to read all of this here. I think it says saffron, blackberry. Absinthe, sandalwood, incense, smoke, sea salt, ozone, gunpowder, teakwood, sandalwood, and bergamot. You know what? See, this is what the candle says. And I, I don't even think I'm reading this right, you guys, because there's, it says candle name, and it has the candle name, but then it has the scents over here. So I don't know if I'm reading this right. I don't think I am. Um, so let me go through the whole box and then I'll try to figure this out and see if I can give you the actual notes of the candle. But to me, I'm getting a lot of apple. Of course, if you know me, you know that I'm terrible at describing scents to you guys. <laughs> All right. And then the next one is Talking Llama Potion from the Emperor's New Groove. And that was from, of course, Yzma, the villainess. This one. This one is right here. It says pomegranate, lemon, mulberry, and ever, 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 ever. Oh my goodness. Ever, ever. I'm not going to be able to say this word. <laughs> that one. Ever, ever. I can't say it. I can't. My mouth won't say it. <laughs> did, you, did you get the it's ever, ever, ever. I'm going to stop now, <laughs> but it smells good. It smells like um, I'm definitely getting the mulberry smell in there and then the pomegranate on top of it. That, that's a good smell. And then we have you clumsy fool clean that mess up. Oh, Lady Tremaine's so nice, isn't she? Such a wonderful stepmother. Poor Cinderella. And it is a dish towel, but it has all the villainesses on it. How cool is 
this. So we have Maleficent. Oh, we have Jafar, so it's not just the villainesses, but the villains too. And we have Ursula, and then it kind of goes on that pattern there. And it's very cool tea towel or dish towel, however you want to look at it. Very pretty. And then we have Through Wind and Darkness I Summon Thee with the Evil Queen. And it's Mirror, Mirror. Of course it is. You get your very own mirror. Oh, look, she's even glued the face onto the mirror. That is so creative. I love it. Very cool. I love how she gives you those little extra touches. It's not just candles. You know, there's a lot that goes into the box. And then lastly, we have this. And it looks like it's a pen with a little squid. squid um, and this is rubber sticking out squid tentacle it says poor unfortunate soul lucky for you ariel traded me her dingle hopper just so you could have this enjoy 25 percent off um and i think obviously this code has expired but just just the attention to detail that's in all of this is just wonderful and like if you i remember when ariel's signing her name the pen kind of looks like this i like that i like that little nod to that over there so that's my box. Um, let me think. This is called Off With Their Heads. So you know what? I think I figured out that there are this many different candles. And so mine is Off With Their Heads, which is the Queen of Hearts. So we're going to come over here. It's Raspberry Jam, Ginger, and... Merlot. Ooh, that Merlot smell. So that's what that candle smells like. So you could have, if you had gotten this box back in October, you could have gotten different scents. Um, so different candle scents based on different villains. So like Maleficent had her own candle and Scar had his own candle and that sort of thing. And then tells you the notes that were over there that went with those candles. So the, yeah, that was the box. Um, Hopefully I could get another box soon. Right now for January, what they have is, um, I think it's the Bilge Rats box. So it's, I would assume based on Pirates, the Caribbean or Pirates themed box. So that one's um, selling for $60 right now. And I'll put her website down below. And again, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more amazing Disney and unboxing content. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a magical rest of your day. Goodbye.